There is no eating on the bus. Stay in your seat the whole time. Your personal space. Only open your window to the line. Make sure the walkway is clear so people don't trip. <laughs> I can be respectful on the bus. I can use kind words. I can use an iMessage to solve problems. I will always listen to the bus driver. Allow others to sit with you. Be we can be, can be responsible. responsible. the assigned bus stop. Look in your seat, take all your belongings with you when you leave the bus. How to be responsible as you um, can be here by 8, um, 8.40 or 8.50. Um, be in your classroom with all of your materials, for example, your take-home folder, your assignment notebook, water bottle and Chromebook and other things. Um, put belongings where they um, belong and um, report to the office if, you, um, if you're late. And um, lastly, use full body of have to be safe. To stay in line at your place, to maintain your, your space and other people's space, and sanitize your hands. <laughs> These are a few ways that you can be respectful. Listen to adults and patrols, follow directions, use indoor voices when entering the building, and use kind words with everyone. Hello, my name is Cooper. Hello, my name is Kaden. And we're going to show you how to be safe, respectful, and responsible in a classroom. Come in. Take you to the eye care corner. Fine. I feel really sad when you disrespect my belongings and when you slip my belongings on the floor. I'm really sorry, Emma. I should have been more nicer and um, respectful with your things. I'm really sorry. Can you forgive me? Apology accepted. I am really sorry that Michaela did that to Emma. Yeah, that was, wasn't really respectful of Michaela. We'll make sure to be more respectful to you guys in the future. Thanks for using kind words and being respectful by apologizing. I think that helped Emma feel better and respected. Uh, I agree with Max and Logan. Oh. I'm really sorry, Emma, for kicking your book and dropping it. All right, everybody, for our reading lesson today, you are going to need your Chromebook, your book, and a pencil. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to find my book. But you're pushing stuff onto my desk. 
Oops, I didn't I, I didn't know how messy my desk was. But can I keep some of the messiness on your desk so mine can be cleaner? No, this is my personal space and this is your mess. Sorry, I won't do that again. I respect your space. Wake up. Corn dogs? You got corn dogs? No, Kaden. So you took me? Yes. Why? So you would wake up. You need to get your Chromebook, a book, and your pencil out. Okay. Thank you for helping me be a responsible student. Moral or lesson. Hey girls, I noticed that you're not full body listening. Sorry, we'll listen. Okay. Who can give me an example of a theme? Max. Um, early bird gets the worm. William? Um, don't bite off more than you can chew. Awesome. Hey girls, I noticed you're still not whole body listening. Do you know what it means to whole body listen? No. Joyce, do you? Yeah. Can you kind of explain to these girls what it means? Sure. Full body listening means having full body listening to teach you while facing here and having your ears on and not bending around then talking to each other. And if you don't whole body listen, then when we have a test about what we're talking about, you're not going to know what it is and then you're going to get a bad grade. Okay. Thanks, thanks for Joyce. telling us what it is, Joyce. We'll be sure to listen. You're welcome. All right, guys, we're going to get started on our homework for reading today. Take out your Chromebooks and open up to the line and the mouse story. We're going to be looking at the theme for that. Oh, um, you need to keep your mask over your nose so that the school and our classroom can be healthy and safe, and you won't get sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't notice that my mask was down. I'll keep it up next time. Okay. All right, everybody, fantastic work today during our reading lesson. We're going to get ready for snack. If you need to go grab it from your cubby, please do so. Oh, oh. Are you guys okay? Do you need help? Oh. You guys really should not have rain. You guys, one of you guys could have gotten really hurt. Yeah, you guys should respect the classroom rules. And there's no rush to get your snack because everyone's going to get one. Okay. We're sorry. Just walk next time, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're sorry. We'll walk next time. Thank you for reminding us. You're welcome. Thank you. This is how you should be. Stay safe, safe respectful, respectful, responsible. All, at all times and everywhere you go. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I'm from Ms. DAPS class. We are going to teach you how to be respectful, responsible, and safe in the bathroom at school. Make sure you flush the toilet after you use it. Use a paper towel to dry your hands and put it right in the garbage. Be respectful of pri everyone's privacy in the bathroom. Hi, I'm from I'm Vito from the Cyclist class, and I'm going to teach you how to be responsible. Wildcats, please clean up after yourself. You should return to your classroom quickly and quietly. Also, tell your teacher if there's a problem. Hi, my name is Christian, and I'm from Miss Sadie's class in second grade. It is important to wait your turn quietly. Be sure to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Be responsible and respectful by walking back to class quietly. Hi, this video 
is going to teach you about lunchroom expectations. I'm James. I'm Carlos. I'm Sophia. I'm Sienna. I'm Mason. And I'm Jackson. Use indoor voices. Be quiet when an, an adult asks for attention. Eat your own food. Include others in conversations. Stay seated until you are dismissed. Raise hand for permission to leave your seat. Use whole body listening when teacher calls for attention. Walk in or out of the lunchroom. Sit on the bench. Throw away garbage. Take turns to pick up your lunchbox or food. Um, use hand sanitizer before and after eating. Sit at the peanut free table if you need to. What's the forecast today? It's about 32 degrees outside. Okay, I should probably get my coat. Hazel goes to grab her coat from her locker. When she walks outside, she says, I'm glad I brought my coat. It's pretty cold outside. Mr. Trumpeter, can I get a band-aid inside my, I scared my knee. Yes, of course. You can be responsible on the playground by using the bathroom before going outside. Dressing what? Dressing appropriately, appropriately for the weather, and asking permission to go into the building. This is how you can be responsible on the playground. Oh no! We gotta put the jump ropes away in the shed. Okay, let's go to the shed. Kids, did you get all the jump ropes? Yep, yep we did. Good job lining up quickly and quietly. You can be responsible on the playground by lining up quickly and quietly when you hear the whistle blow. Oh look, math is on the buddy that shall go and play Okay. Sure. Can I say something? I don't feel, I feel sad because you guys don't include me and that doesn't make me that happy. Can you guys include me from now on? Yep. Yes. You can be respectful by using the I message and including others when they want to be included. You can be safe on the playground by... The kids go outside and they're bored. Hey Jason, want to play this new game I made? Wood chip tag? No, because then basically we're just taking the wood chips off the ground. Okay, want to play kickball instead? Yeah, sure. The kids get a kickball from the shed. Kick the kickball into the street. Could you go get it? Thank you, Mr. Tom. This is showing how we can be safe on the playground by using the equipment properly, not picking things off of the ground, and staying on the school property. You can be respectful on the playground by including everyone, playing fairly, and taking turns. Can I play? Line 
safe way and follow directions. Thank you for following directions and listening, guys. You can be respectful by listening and following directions on the playground. These are the expectations for dismissal. Be respectful. Bring home all of your belongings, for example, assignment notebook, take home folder, and Chromebook. Use whole body listening. Walk carefully and quietly to the small or big gym. You may walk and line up. Walking, walking, good job. Hi, my name is Lovelyn. I'm in third grade, and these are the expectations of dismissal. Be responsible, stay in your place in line, walk in the hallway, and maintain personal space, hands to self. Hello, my name is Brady, Sir Brady, and I'm in third grade. These are expectations for um, dismissal. Be, res be respectful, listen to adults and patrols, Follow directions, use indoor voices when exiting the building. Use kind words with everyone. 